Proudly covering all of Northeastern and Central Pennsylvania, this is Eyewitness News. Good morning, it's Wednesday, January 13th. I'm Sean Coffey. We'll get to our top news stories in just a moment, but first, Stefano joins us with a look at our forecast. Good morning, Stefano. Good morning, Sean, and not a bad day that's ahead of us. Not quite as cold of a start this morning and just a touch warmer through our afternoon as temperatures climb to right around 40 today. Now we're starting with a lot of cloud cover. We do have some sunshine that we get to look forward to this afternoon, but just like the last few days, we don't completely lose those clouds. Tonight we're down to 30. Clouds do return. A flurry or snow shower also pops up as well overnight tonight going into tomorrow morning. We go to the afternoon and we're mixing clouds and sun. It's also a warmer day. We're in the mid 40s. Friday in the mid 40s as well. Good amount of the day looks dry as we get close to sunset. That's when we'll start to see some rain and snow showers work their way in. Those are expected to continue Friday night. Saturday, still watching the potential for a coastal low that'll try to bring us some scattered snow showers until we cool down into early next week, Sean. All right, Stefano, thank you. A break in a shocking murder case in Hazleton. Investigators in Luzerne County identified the suspect accused of killing a convenience store clerk. Police say Yafet Rodriguez walked into Craig's, Craig's Food Mart on West Broad Street in December and killed Asha Kumar Patel. Investigators say Rodriguez was wearing a mask and shoved Patel into a closet before shooting him in the head and neck. Patel was able to call 911 for help but died before police could reach him. Rodriguez will be arraigned this morning on charges of criminal homicide, robbery, burglary and theft. A husband is charged with his wife's gruesome murder. Police say it started as an argument over cheating allegations. They say 40 year old Daniel Barrett punched his wife Mary before stabbing her with fire tongs, a knife and a fire poker. Court documents say Daniel dragged Mary's body to the basement where investigators later found her. Daniel Barrett is behind bars without bail. That does it for now. More eyewitness news and weather coming up throughout the day. And as always, head over to our website, pahomepage.com for more.